Hey, hi, my name is Diane, and I am making videos about a little bit about my life, but not really about me so much as about things that are common to all of us. It, and I have 23 plus years of recovery, but I'm not going to make all these talks about recovery. There'll be like um, little refer referrals to the things I learned in recovery, perhaps, but I'm not going to sit here and give you my whole AA story, you know, front to back. It's not a speaker meeting kind of video thing. There'll be pieces of my story, but I want to tell some anecdotes of funny stuff from my childhood, maybe some touching stuff milestones where I learned things. I, um, I'm i just a beginner, but I have a lot of content that's great, funny stuff. I've done public speaking for uh, people, larger crowds, and I've also did, you know, talks at work, was in Toastmasters. Uh, I'm kind of used to being here talking, and I've done a lot of one-on-one -on -one mentoring women. And so, well, I wouldn't say they're my qualifications, because I don't consider myself subject matter expert on anything, really. I, I know a lot of goofy stuff along the way and fun stuff. So that's what these videos will be about. I uh, started them a while back, and so they're in chronological order, starting with my childhood, like funny things that happened when I was a kid, sad stuff, you know, and all the lessons I learned looking back on it, you know, not experience it as a five-year-old or whatever, but looking back on it with wisdom now. So the reason, who's my audience? Okay, so my audience is women like me. Sorry, guys, I, I you know, I that's just where it's at. I just... That's my audience. Women like me who have really navigated through some stuff or maybe who are still navigating. And my message is you can do it. It doesn't matter what your goofy childhood, your parents that meant well or you thought they meant well or they didn't mean well. Wherever you landed on that, you can still navigate. And that's like the thrust of this whole channel is that when you hear my story, you'll go, holy crap. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I don't want you to feel pity, but I want you to be inspired to go, look, she's still okay. She's an old geezer. She made it. <laughs> I have funny sense of humor. Everybody loves it. So, and that came later in life. I didn't have that in the beginning. Let me tell you, uh-uh-uh. <laughs> So, so the stories end up being about me. They're my stories, but they're really not because you guys, a lot of you will go, oh, wow, that, that happened to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. How did she deal with it? You know, just stuff like that. You know, and not that I'm like great and holy, mighty wisdom girl, because hello, I'm not. I'm still dealing with stuff. <laughs> So, like I said, they'll be in chronological order. So, if you want to, they can stand alone. One video um, that I made is called The Impossible Dream. That's a st Lots of them are just standalones, but you get the whole content. Sort of like each little video is like sort of a, a book <laughs> or a chapter in a book, and they're all kind of in order, but you don't need to watch them that way. So, anyway, just explaining that. Um, now, what inspired this? Besides life and Excel itself and the shock down. I call it the shock down. I'm sorry because it was a shock. And that's all. That's it and that's all. That's my name for it. <laughs> Maybe somebody else calls it that too. But it was a shock to all of us. Okay. So before the, that time, I had the good fortune of um, being selected to be on um, a show with Gary Vaynerchuk. And I sent in a question and his PA called me and said, hey, we picked your question. Do you want to be online today? And it was tea with Gary V. And I asked him, uh, you know, I'm getting ready to end my career in one area. What could I do next? And Gary said to me to do this, what I'm doing right now. And I, you know, I didn't do it right away. I, you know, lots of reasons. That's another video. But I'm doing it now. And he told me, he said he liked my personality and he said I'd probably be really great at interviewing people and talking and being entertaining. So uh, here I are. <laughs> I'm finally doing it. I don't know if Gary will ever get to see this. I'll probably tag him, but that's not what's important. I just wanted you guys to know what motivated me to finally, you know, pull the trigger, get it going and get on here. And I've got a lot of good feedback and um, I just, you know what, I really just want the pain that I've experienced in my life to not go to waste. So if I've painfully learned a lesson, I don't want it to go to waste by me sitting home and not doing anything. I want to go here. Here's what happened. Maybe I, you won't change your whole life around it or anything like that, but 
Maybe it'll save you some time. Instead of like it taking 10 years for me to learn something, maybe it'll only take you a year. So that's my hope is that all this won't go to waste. Because let me tell you, it has been a ride. <laughs> and uh, I'm also writing a little book in the background of all this. Um, but the videos are more primary. The book is just kind of fun and something maybe my grandchildren will go, uh, whoa, that's what she was like? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so that's my hope. And, and then um, from the olden days, I'll be talking about the history of the times and how they affected me, the political atmosphere of what I remember here and at home, you know, my parents talking over playing cards on Sunday. And that's basically, this is like sort of going to feel like a memoir, but it's also going to feel like wisdom from your Grammy. <laughs> Uh, okay, I uh, kept it under six minutes, and uh, nice to meet you.